Hello and welcome to another Regents Review by Mr. Schweitzer. This is going to be for the lab practical, the rocks and mineral uh, portion of the exam. One thing I've got to disclose is that none of these exact samples will be used during the lab practical. So you will not find this exact rock, you will not find this exact mineral. You may find something similar to it, but it won't be these exact samples because that would be against the law. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to start with rocks and not just any type of rock my favorite igneous rocks um there's a few characteristics that you're going to look for when finding an igneous rock um probably the most obvious here well to me is this guy right here uh i clearly see gas pockets so you're going to have the uh reference table or at least these pages of the reference table and if you see gas pockets in your sample you can just double check make sure you see okay gas pockets igneous rock there you go all right next we would look for either a glassy texture right so a glassy texture here these both show pretty nice glassy textures um a glassy texture uh would be like obsidian so we've got a glassy texture that's an igneous rock so anything that looks like a chunk of glass nice and shiny like that um sharp edges we're gonna have uh an igneous rock here the other one that's not in the reference table is this texture here. Uh, we call this interlocking, or better known as intergrown crystals. You can clearly see that these crystals uh, have grown into each other. Um, same with this sample here. The crystals have not been cemented or compacted, but they've actually grown into each other. That is not on the reference table, but that is a characteristic of an igneous rock. All right, so we've got gas pockets, glassy texture, or intergrown or interlocking crystals there, okay? Igneous rock, igneous rock. On to sedimentary rocks. Ooh, sedimentary rocks. So the sedimentary rock page is up here. We've got all these rock names. Um, now let's take a look at some of the features. So first off, my favorite, coquina. Um, it's called coquina, and it's actually made of cemented shell fragments. Um, you can actually see that it's made of the white and tannish shells, and you can look in the reference table, this says cemented shell fragments, limestone, so you know that's a sedimentary rock. Something that kids tend to make a mistake on is that, okay, they see the shells and they're like, ooh, fossils, but there's a difference between actual shells and fossils. Fossils are usually left as imprints, you can see those shells in there, but that is also a sedimentary rock. Um, so we got a sedimentary rock because it's made of fossils, imprints of different shelled organisms. All right, so we've got made of shells and has fossils, but we've also got something like this. This is our conglomerate, right? It's made of pebbles, real, real nice sized pebbles. So you can actually just say, okay, it's a sedimentary rock because it's made of pebbles. Um, and that's, that's really, it's really gonna be it. Or, or you can see those, see those layers in there. Um, this one doesn't have totally clear layering, but you could probably get away with saying this has layering. But I would just say, okay, I see pebbles. It has pebbles in it, so it is a sedimentary rock. See, pebbles. Boom, sedimentary rock. Same idea with this guy right here. You may want to say that this has layering, but um, if you feel it, it's composed of sand. So you could really just say, okay, it's uh, it's composed of sand. It's, it's sandstone, so it's a sedimentary rock. Boom, there it is. I can actually feel it. It feels, feels kind of nice. Okay, so we've got cemented shell fragments. Uh, we've got fossils made of pebbles, made of cemented pebbles, uh, made of cemented or compacted sand. And now we've got our final feature, which would be layering. Um, nice layering in this piece of shale right here. It's beautiful. Okay, so those are sedimentary rocks. Hopefully you guys got that. Most of it's in the reference table. Made of pebbles, um, made of sand, uh, composed of shell fragments or it's got fossils, right? Okay, final type of rock is gonna be metamorphic. Metamorphic's, uh, for the most part, pretty simple. The one thing I really like to point out to my students is that a lot of the time they're shiny. And now the shiny ones, we just call them, look at that, nice mica crystals in there. Um, the shiny ones we call foliated. Now if it's really gonna be smushed and compressed into uh, bands, we call this banding, only nice, shows banding. That's a beautiful, beautiful example of banding. Here's another example of banding. Um, you get those lines. Now we can't call this quite layering because they weren't deposited. 
on top of each other. Um, they were just kind of smushed and smushed and smushed and smushed and heated and, and pressured until they formed those bands. So we've got foliated because it looks shiny and it's kind of got that weird, weird layering there. Same with this one. It's like almost flaky, flakes off on your hand. See that layering on there? Hopefully you do. Uh, that is called foliated. And the big thick lines here, that's called uh, banding. So we got banding there. Um, something else I want to show, point out is this bad boy. It's beautiful. Um, this is called anthracite coal. And uh, it's pretty much metamorphosed coal by regional metamorphism. So this was like underneath a mountain. And it really got smushed and compressed. Uh, and that is really a beautiful sample. The final one is going to be stuff that got recrystallized from mostly contact metamorphism. Um, we've got uh, quartzite and it's been recrystallized. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so those are our, our rocks. We've got igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Um, now we've got to do our minerals. So the mineral part is uh, pretty simple. You're going to be looking at the different features that we've been looking at throughout the years. So something I want to start off on, well, let's start off looking at the reference table. So let's start with luster. Let's group these by luster. Well, first off, I'm going to look at the opaque ones, which just means that you can't really see through them, but uh, they're definitely not metals, chunky metals. I'm going to take this guy. doesn't look metallic. This guy's green. It's not shiny. Um, we're going to leave that over there. Now we've got our shiny minerals, which are kind of confusing, but which of these looks like chunks of metal? This one's obviously looking like a chunk of metal, so I'm going to move it over here. Um, this one, I can actually see through it. It's transparent, which means I'm going to throw it over there. And this one as well is extremely transparent. You can actually see the other mineral through it. Um, that's our mica right, right there. So I'm going to put this over here. Now I'm going to take our graphite and move it over here. So these are our metallic minerals. You can see them. Uh, they have a great luster, really shiny. And these bad boys over here are non-metallic. So we got metallic, non-metallic. Now let's look up to the next level. We've got our hardness. So let's test the hardness of this one real quick. I'm going to leave my scratch plate on the ground so it doesn't break through into my hand and I don't really want to talk about it. Um, so I'm going to scratch this. So I'm going to put a pretty good amount of pressure down it. I mean, I'm not going to go crazy on it. I'm not the Hulk. But um, I'm going to go in an area that's kind of clean. So this area hasn't been, been really used much on the right side. And I'm going to press down and listen for it. You, you, you can feel it kind of like grind across it. Um, it doesn't just slip over it. And just to double check, check with my fingernail, definitely... Definitely a good scratch there. I felt it more than I see it. It's more of a feel than, than to actually see it. But um, just to give you an example of something that won't scratch glass is going to be this calcite here. I'm going to press against it. In a nice area that hasn't been used. And it's just sliding. It's sliding right over there. The glass is actually scratching, scratching the mineral away. Um, let's test this bad boy real quick. See if it's going to be harder than glass. Yeah, so this olivine here, this green guy, is going to be harder than glass. Um, how about graphite? Well, let's check graphite on the paper. Yeah, graphite's really, really soft. It is the most one of the most slippery minerals that I've ever felt. Um, how about this galena? Let's test it. Nope, slipping right over it. So the harder minerals are really going to grind right over it, um, and the softer minerals just kind of slip over it no matter how hard you really press there okay so we got hardness out of the way um now let's check for cleavage or fracture first off notice that most of the minerals cleavage on, cleavage on the left side most of the minerals do have cleavage um only one two three four five six seven eight only eight have a uh, fracture this one right here take a look at it let me know what you think cleavage or fracture All right, this is actually fracture. Um, although this side looks pretty flat, if you really get a good look at it, it's kind of bumpy. Um, there's really no flat areas on this, uh, so I'm going to say this is going to be um, fracture. Along with this one here, see how it breaks randomly? It almost breaks like, like glass. 
this is definitely going to be a uh, fracture as well. Something that has clear cleavage is this guy right here, Galena. You see how it's got like, I always say, it's got like little baby ant steps on there. Like, like an ant can use this as a uh, stairwell. You look at all those nice flat sides. There's a flat side here, and then there's another parallel flat side on the other side there. Um, and also, we've got a nice like cubic shape here. So we call that cubic cleavage. Pretty much, you see how it shines all the light in one direction, unlike this one, which kind of like goes in all different directions. Uh, so this one's going to be fractured. This is cleavage. Here's another nice example of cleavage. Uh, nice and it reflect. You know, see how it reflects that light there. It's all going to be on one side. Um, this one is also cleavage. Got those flat sides. This has the real nice baby ant steps. Um, if you look at it here, let me see if I can focus this on this. Okay, so yeah, we can focus it on there. You can see those all those little ant, baby ant steps. Um, and this one actually has cleavage as well. Not quite as clear, but when I broke it, it broke along a nice flat side. Uh, so that is going to be cleavage. One final thing. Streak. Let's test the streak of these minerals. This bad boy right here, it's got a gray streak. So that's galena, right? Let's see if, oh well, graphite, you guys already know this is what's in your pencil. That is a, uh, more of a, I don't, really, I don't even know, it's just like lighter gray, so I don't know. Lighter gray streak. Let's check this calcite. Oh, don't really see anything. Let me just wipe my finger on it just to make sure. Yeah, we got some white streak there. So we really almost consider that almost no streak. Uh, Micah, you're not going to get anything from that. Uh, you, we got no streak from that. Olivine. White streak again. And quartz. Pretty much, pretty much no streak from that. So that's how you, that's how you do streak. So just to review one final little review, we are going to test the luster. Is it metallic or non-metallic? We're going to test its hardness. Can it scratch glass or can it not scratch glass, right? Um, how about cleavage and fracture? Does it have nice flat sides that it can split along? Does it have random uh, breaking? And then finally, we're going to check the streak. Does it have a colored streak? Does it not have a colored streak? Does it have a streak at all? Um, stuff like that. Metamorphic rocks, they're pretty much shiny. We call it foliated, right? Um, and we call these these lines here uh, banding, right? We got, we got nice banding shown there. And then uh, recrystallization. Um, this is made of pebbles. This is made of sand. This has layering. Uh, this is made of compacted and cemented shell fragments. This is, uh, has fossils. That's all sedimentary rocks, right? All sedimentary rocks. And then finally our igneous rock. We've got gas pockets. We've got a glassy texture and we've got intergrown or interlocking crystals. All right. That's all we got here for Mr. Earth Science Schweitzer. Whee!